So in this video, we're going to talk about P-series. We're going to talk about the P-series. And this is actually one of the simplest tests ever. Um, and you're going to see that this test comes in at, uh, handy when we're dealing with, um, we're going to look at the limit comparison test and we're going to see how we're going to utilize a P-series. But essentially, a P-series is, is given by the summation, you know, the summation sign or series. Um, it, it could be from where n is equal to 0 to infinity of this 1 over n to the P, where if P is greater than 1, then the series converges, and if p is less than or equal to one, then the series diverges. Now, be careful with p series; it's the opposite. Okay, so usually we consider p if p is greater than one, the series uh, diverges, and p is less than one, the series converges. No, p series is the opposite. Whenever p is greater, strictly greater than one, the series converges, and whenever it's less than or equal to one, the series diverges. So, let's look at some p series here. So. What if we have where k is equal to 1 to infinity of 1 over k squared? Well, to me, it looks as if 2, which is p, 2 is actually greater than 1, and therefore the series converges. Okay. Now, what about this one? We have where k is equal to 1 to infinity of 1 over the square root of k. Well, remember, the square root is actually one half. And so in this case, one half is actually less than one. So therefore, a series diverges. Okay. Now, what about, what about this one? Let's say n is equal to one to infinity of one over n cubed. Well, again, in this case, p is equal to 3, which is less than 1. Uh, p is equal to 3, which is greater than 1. <laughs> so, therefore, the actual series actually converges. The series actually converges. Okay. Now, what about this one? Maybe we have where n is equal to 1 to positive infinity of 1 over n times the square root of n. Well, hopefully we could know we, we we should know that this is n to the one power and this is n to the one half power so i have the same base i could combine so this is actually one plus one third okay so let me rewrite it so this is equal to the series to infinity where n is equal to one of one over n times n to the one half n to the one notice that we have the same base so we just add the exponent so that is three halves so in this case P is actually equal to three halves. Okay. And we know three halves is actually greater than one, so series actually converges. Okay. And what about this one? Where k is equal to one to positive infinity of one over k to the pi over three. But in this case, pi over three is p. And we know pi pi is 3.14. But they buy 3.14 by three, we know we're going to get one point something. So we know one point something is also strictly greater than one. So in this case, the series actually converges. Okay. And so that's the general idea behind the P series. Again, again, nothing hard. You know, if, if we want to look at one more, let's see. Let's talk about this one. What is the summation where n is equal to one to infinity? of one over n to the negative two. Well, in this case, negative two is actually less than, sorry, less than or equal to one. In fact, it's just less than one, okay? And so therefore we could conclude that the series actually diverges. Okay, so the general gist of P-series are nothing hard. Now, I wanna make an important point. Do not confuse a P-series with the geometric series, okay? That's a common mistake. Notice the difference, a P-series where we have a sum of 1 over n to the P is a P-series. The geometric is where we have actually a number, so maybe we could say this is 1 half to the K. Notice the difference. Here, the exponent is a number, here the, expo uh, here the, the so here the base is, is some arbitrary um, variable, here the base is a number. So this is our geometric. So be very careful.